manicure peeps here I'm going to show you how I personally do a rose quartz gel manicure um, starting from the start really my nails were awful it was bad I was not feeling well and picked them off so yeah <laughs> I like to push back the cuticles um, with a cuticle pusher down the side walls and to the end of the cuticle making sure you get all that skin off the natural nail I would normally do the whole nail plate if uh, a client comes in with no nails on as there might still be skin on that nail plate. Make sure you scrape out all the debris under the cuticle as well because I'm going to go in with my e-file. Brush off the excess with a nail brush, make sure that dust and debris is off. I don't want the e-file to push that product under the cuticle. I like to work um, in reverse rather than forward because I work left to right. Um, just find it more comfortable, but you'll find if you're more comfortable with forward or reverse, you'll find your own way. I use the flame cuticle bit, diamond head. I use the belly of it and then I use the tip to get underneath there to make sure there's no skin going to be interfering with the gel we're going to be putting on. I love watching Russian manicures. It, they are so satisfying. Just look at all of that muck coming off. I love it. Do that with all your nails. Then brush off with a nail brush again. Make sure that dusts away. I'm using the Kyushu file, the ones you can peel off and stick on, are very handy, eco friendly. Well, eco friendly as files can be, really. They were extremely short, so I'm just neating them up and I'm lightly buffing over the nail plate so the base coat is something to adhere to. And it'll last longer. I like to clean with acetone. This hasn't got any added perfumes or anything in it. It really does dehydrate and clean that nail plate nicely. Then go in with Hushu Veneer Prep. This is a dehydrator. I love their system. It's definitely the... I've tried many, many brands and this system makes polish last forever. Fuse is your pH bonder, so your primer. Both these steps don't need a lamp. And then I go in with number three, the base coat. Because my nails are so short, I've got a wee trick which I learned in training is what you'll see me doing is placing the brush the opposite way you normally paint, pushing up and down rather than sliding it across to the free edge because that way you'll get your skin. This way it just caps the edge nicely and it doesn't catch on your skin. It's a nice wee trick I learned. And just take your time making sure that whole nail plate is covered nice and thin. Now you can go in with the majority of pink shades but I fancied to use one of the new ones I ordered so I desire. Nice thin coats again capping at the free edge before I paint down. I like to then push the product up as close to the cuticle as I can. If I didn't get too close, I then go in with a little detailing brush and make sure that it's right up to the cuticle. This is the Mitzi brush I'm using, nice and thin. Gets all that, in all that nukes and crannies that the big brush can't get to. And then once you've done all the nails, um, the curing time's 30 seconds. I sometimes leave it in for 60 just to make sure it's really staying on.
So yeah, just one coat of your pink shade. And then we're going to mix up this pink shade I desire with top coat or you can also use base coat. To apply this later on, I do use an old bottle that I ran out of, but I've kept it to use the brush so it's easier to apply to the nail. So I'm using Flirt and just like the marble technique, just put on your lines. I like to call it the shaky hand <laughs> technique because makes the lines wobblier. The more wobblier, the better because you don't want neat lines. I will then go back in with a cleanser or you can use peppermint wipe, whatever you use to take the sticky layer off your nails at the end on the brush and it just blends them out nicely like so, so they're not so harsh. Just wiggle your brush flat against it and it blends out quite nicely. Cure that for 30 seconds. And now we're using the shade that we mixed up with the top coat or the base coat with your pink shade. And I'm using an old brush and just applying that on the top. This makes it sheer so it will um, make the lines look less prominent and more like a rose quartz stone. So they look like they're deeper in within the stone. A crystal should I say. Using uh, unicorn shards and the Builder Gel. So I'm just placing the unicorn shards on. Uh, less is more in this case. Um, make them all different, don't all have the same placement or amount on each nail. Make it as random as possible. And then we're going to encapsulate that with the Builder Gel. I like to do one nail at a time when I'm using Builder Gel because I find that it is quite easy to self-balance a little bit too much and run into your skin. So once you're happy that all the um, shards are encapsulated, um, just flash cure it for 10 seconds and move on to the next finger. I find it's the easiest way. Um, I also made a mistake of putting too much on. So make it as thin as you can. Um, you can always build it up. But I I was silly and put too much on. <laughs> Oops. Once your builder gel is all cured for a full 30 seconds, wipe off the sticky residue layer and shape with a buffer or 240 grit file. I'm going back in more flirt with the shaky hand lines and I'll also blend them out again like we did previously and I'll cure that for 30 seconds again. And then I'm just going over again with the mix shade again. Just nice and thin layers of this. This will then give us a nice sticky layer once cured to put the gold leaf on, this which we're going to do next. So less is more with the gold leaf. You can use tweezers and you can uh, break it up with the metal tweezers. You can use a brush but it's a bit fiddly. You can use your finger like I'm doing here and then uh, burnish it into the nail into the sticky layer and it will break up eventually and it's easy to move around because the gel is still sticky and you can take away and add as much as you need it. But less is more and make it as random as you can. And then top coat twice with the veneer top coat. Once won't be enough the gel, the gold leaf will just come off, it will rub away the top coat and it will come off eventually, plus it will be quite textured still. So to keep it on to make it nice and smooth we'll do two top coats, curing them both at 30 seconds. And there you go. I hope it helped you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Ta-da!